2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 EPA range is unveiled and rivals Lucid Air EVs. The official EPA ratings for the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 are finally released. It was unveiled in June of last year. Its electrified streamliner is sportier than the Ioniq 5 SUV. Final EPA testing for the anticipated 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 has been completed. Welcome to Plus Charge, the one-stop channel for the all-new automobile updates. Before getting into the video, share and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Tap on the bell icon for notifications. Hyundai is officially announcing that, following the Ioniq 6's play date with the EPA, the anticipated range of its electric streamliner car is 361 miles from a full charge. However, the SE Long Range all-wheel drive trim is somewhat behind with a maximum range of 316 miles, and it's for this trim that the estimate was established. According to the EPA, the Ioniq 6 SE Long Range Rear Wheel Drive could go 89 miles further than the Model 3's rear wheel drive equivalent of the same size. Better than Hyundai's all wheel drive Ioniq 6 is the 358 mile Tesla Model 3 Extended Range all wheel drive. With its newest EV, the Ioniq 6 car, Hyundai aims to compete with the Tesla Model 3. A member of the company's Ioniq sub-brand of electric vehicles, this four-door has parts in common with the taller and boxier Ioniq 5. The availability of a single battery pack option, single and dual motor variations, and other options are indicated. Depending on the model, its maximum driving range is reportedly 361 miles thanks to the base 77.4 kWh battery pack and the 6's aerodynamic shape. Hyundai's dramatic prophecy concept influenced its design, and the Ioniq 6 is just as quick, fashionable, and cutting edge. It boasts a more sumptuous cabin than the Model 3, and has more onboard technologies when compared to Hyundai's gas-powered Sonata and Elantra sedans. Ioniq 6 is the latest version in the line. Between the present-day Ioniq 5 and the upcoming Ioniq 7, a sedan with a lower profile than the taller crossovers will be numerically placed. The starting price is $41,925, which is more expensive than the Ioniq 5. The 6 has a single battery pack, a single motor, and an optional dual motor configuration. Since the model was unveiled, Hyundai has boasted that the Ioniq 6 will have the most range of its EGMP platform-based brothers. The conclusions are consistent with those claims and the official EPA data has been made public. An eye-catching 361-mile range is predicted for the rear-wheel drive 225-horsepower Ioniq 6 SE with 18-inch wheels. The 316-mile range of the all-wheel drive SE with two motors and 320 horsepower is achieved. 305 miles for the single motor rear wheel drive type and 270 miles for the dual motors and all wheel drive option are the lowered range estimates for the SEL and limited trim levels with 20 inch wheels. These ranges are based on the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack which will only be available when the Ioniq 6 is sold this spring. Later in the model year a 53.0 kilowatt hour battery with a smaller capacity and a shorter range will be added to the inventory. Hyundai is pleased with the Ioniq 6's high EPA scores. The car maker anticipated the US Ioniq 6's maximum driving range would be 340 miles when it debuted at the LA Auto Show the previous year. The EPA's predictions are often more conservative than the European WLTP calculations, which estimated the Ioniq 6's maximum range be around 382 miles. In a press statement, Hyundai also mentions that the Ioniq 6 has the greatest MPGE rating from the EPA. At a starting price of $108,700, the Ioniq 6 SE Long Range Rear Wheel Drive offers the same combined MPGE rating of 140 for the city and the highway as Lucid's top-rated Air Pure All-Wheel Drive Luxury Sedan. The cost of the Ioniq 6 is currently unknown in North America, although it was £46,745 at the beginning of the line in the UK. Instead of increasing the battery to increase the range, Ola B.C. Boyle, Vice President of Product Planning and Mobile Strategy at Hyundai North America says, he chose to optimize the Ioniq 6's aerodynamic performance and its electric global modular platform for efficiency to produce these long driving ranges. 
Although the battery pack for the Ionic 6's long range has a sizable 77.4 kilowatt hours, it is still less than those found in EVs like the Ford Mustang Mach E CAR1 Extended Range Rear Wheel Drive and Audi e-tron S Sportback, which have ranges of 314 and 212 miles, respectively. Before continuing the video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Also enable the bell icon for more exciting videos like this. Moving on. Hyundai's eGMP, an 800-volt electric vehicle platform, is the foundation for the Ionic 6. Also, it is more efficient than the 400-volt techniques used by several EV manufacturers, including Ford and Tesla. The rear-wheel drive Ionic 6 loses about 231 watt-hours per mile as opposed to the rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3, which yields 260 watt-hours per mile. The Ionic 6's low drag coefficient of 0.22 for the US version results from its arc-like design. Because of a side view option that uses a camera rather than mirrors and is still seeking US certification, the Ionic 6 can achieve an even lower drag coefficient in South Korean versions of 0.21. The Mercedes EQS, 0.20, the Tesla Model S Plaid, 0.208, and the most recent Lucid Air revision all outperform Hyundai's most recent EV, even though it places it in a class no one anticipated. Despite sharing the same drivetrain and battery pack as its electric car siblings, the Ionic 5, Kia EV6, and Genesis GV60, the Ionic 6 has a longer range. Some credit should go to the banana-shaped sedan's sleek aerodynamics, which the manufacturer claims have a coefficient of drag of just 0.22. In foreign markets, variants with side-view cameras in place of mirrors have a coefficient of drag of 0.21. When asked why the Ionic 6 vehicles with 20-inch wheels had a significantly greater range than those with 18s, Hyundai explained that the smaller wheels are narrower and have lower rolling resistance tires. Because it has less equipment than the SEL and Limited, this model is lighter. Like the other vehicles on the eGMP platform, the Ionic 6 will have 400 and 800 volt charging. Hyundai claims that when connected to a 350 kilowatt charger, the Ionic 6 battery can be recharged from 10% to 80% in less than 20 minutes. By employing a commonly available adapter, the vehicle can also power external devices via V2L, vehicle to load. The Ionic 6 will be made available this spring. Even though the cost has yet to be made public, we expect it to be less than $50,000. The Ionic 6 and Ionic 5 powertrains are similar, and both models are constructed on the same chassis. A separate electric motor propels the back wheels of the 225 horsepower standard model. The front and rear electric motors of the pricier 320 horsepower dual motor variants provide all-wheel drive. Because of its more powerful system, Hyundai claims the Ionic 6 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds. We think Hyundai's estimate is conservative based on our first test drive, and once we get an Ionic 6 in our office for testing, we anticipate a speedier result. The Ionic 6 offers a smooth ride and a silent soundproof cabin, yet its handling is rather enjoyable. With the help of the steering wheel paddles, the driver can quickly switch between several regenerative braking modes while maintaining a steady feeling in turns thanks to the vehicle's low center of gravity. The EPA estimates the Ionic 6's maximum driving range to be 361 miles. The Ionic 6 SE rear-wheel drive long range, which has the greatest degree, has a 58-mile advantage over the Ionic 5, which has a shorter range. The Ionic 6 Limited with all-wheel drive has a rating of 270 miles, which is still quite good for the Ionic 6 with the shortest travel time. When we get on one, we'll run the Ionic 6 through our 75 miles per hour real-world highway range test. Hyundai has prioritized lounge-like comfort in past Ionic models, and the 6 is no exception. The cabin's interior has a design that resembles that of the Ionic 5 in terms of simplicity and modernity, and the flat floor adds to the sense of spaciousness. It has two rows of seating for five people like a standard four-door sedan. Hyundai has taken great care to create a quiet interior by sandwiching several layers of sound-absorbing material between the floor and the carpets. Even though the trunk's cargo space isn't as large as a hatchback or crossover, the back seats may be folded down to expand that area's capacity. 
Both a digital gauge cluster and a 12.3-inch infotainment screen are offered. The Ionic 6 uses the same software as previous Hyundai models, integrating Blue Link for connectivity functions and establishing connections with mobile devices via either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Information on the infotainment system will become more widely known as the projected release of the Ionic 6 draws nearer. That's all for today. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to Plus Charge for more updates like this and check out the rest of the videos on this channel.